Well, welcome everyone to an NCAA.com and March Madness Skype session. I'm Andy Katz, pleased to be joined by the national champ, Kyle Guy, who's now with the Sacramento Kings, just got married to Alexa out in Hawaii. First off, before we get to the team of the decade, how was the wedding? It was awesome. It was amazing. Uh, everything we wanted it to be and hoped it would be. Uh, so just, you know, really happy we set that foundation going into uh, NBA and her going to law school. All right. So where's she going to law school? Notre Dame. Okay. So you're going to start a part uh, with you with the Kings and her at Notre Dame. Uh, this year, uh, you know, you win the national championship. You're in the NBA. You get married. Uh, we're still not even into the fall yet. How would you describe what this year has been like? Yeah, it's been surreal. Um, I'm not sure there's going to be a year that tops this one, but uh, definitely not taking it for granted. And when did you guys plan the actual ceremony? Uh, we've been planning. We did it on July 25th. We've been planning for uh, about a year and a half beforehand. So. All right, so well before the national championship run. Yeah, we, we planned accordingly that, you know, we, I would miss a little bit of summer school if I went back to school or it'd be during right after summer league. So we planned accordingly. All right. So a couple things unpack here. First off, team of the decade, Virginia right now in our sweet 16 with a matchup against Kansas. Uh, Virginia has already knocked off um, Washington, um, you know, to, to get to this point at the beginning, Arizona, um, this has been a good run by the fans, obviously voting, and this is quite a starting five. DeAndre Hunter, Mike Scott, yourself, Malcolm Brogdon, and Ty Jerome. Uh, what now? Some people give me some flack on the the five that I selected for these teams. What do you think of that five? Uh, I think it's a obviously a great five. I'm easily the worst defender on that list, um, but I think. People probably think Joe Harris should be in there or London. There's been a lot of great players. So, obviously, it's an honor uh, to be on there. Uh, but, you know, I think me, Ty, Dre, what we did was special. And Malcolm, obviously, was a no-brainer. And Mike Scott, what he did uh, with Coach Bennett for uh, one, two years that he was with him was unbelievable. Yeah, I know. I, I couldn't go wrong. I mean, I know I could have taken yeah. someone off and put, you know, like you said, Joe Harris on. Uh, maybe Lynn Prentice, but, um, you know, look, someone would have been unhappy possibly, but it's a good group. All right, so now in the fan voting, we have Virginia versus Kansas. Kansas is a great following, but Virginia is very passionate. This is a Kansas team, which, by the way, I think you guys could beat if you actually were playing. Uh, that may cause me some trouble here, but you have Joel Embiid, <laughs> and they got Frank Mason, Sharon Collins, Perry Ellis, and Devontae Graham. If we were to play five on five, your five versus that five, how do you think it would go? I think... You know, I'm not going to say we're going to lose. So, obviously, I think we're going to win. Um, you know, our defense will always keep us in games. Uh, and then the offensive firepower we actually have with the team of the decade uh, for Virginia, I think could uh, very well, you know, maybe boost us to another championship. <laughs> All right. So, what do we? What do Virginia fans need to do here to make sure that you guys continue to move on in our bracket? Keep doing what they're doing. Go on Instagram. Go on Twitter. Vote. Uh, you know who to vote for. All my Who's fans. So, uh, yeah. All right. So when you look back at this championship run, I mean, it was unbelievable. Uh, you and I have talked many times, but the, the way you guys did it, the game in Louisville is one of the best games I've ever seen in my life. And the way it happened in terms of beating Purdue and then the two final four games against Auburn and Texas Tech. What, when you think back at that, what of that three game run here, what stands out the most? Uh, I, I go back to the first game of the tournament where we kind of set the tone was against Gardner Webb. Yeah, being down again at halftime against the 16 seed, like you really got to do some reflecting and look at yourself in the mirror. Like we got to get this done, and we did that in the second half. You know, we kept our foot on the gas and really set the tone. And then I just think everyone really bought in and just did whatever it took to win. We tried to make minimal mistakes, and you know that you know really got us through those that three-game stretch, which was not an easy task. And at every point, there was a chance where we very easily could have lost, and, and we pulled through. So, All right, so Kyle, here you go. How did your life change after the UMBC loss and after winning a national championship? Um, well, I always say UMBC is the best thing that ever happened to me in my basketball career just because of, you know, the fire it instilled in all of us and 
how we had to bounce back from that. We were literally on rock bottom. First team on the men's side to ever, you know, do something on the wrong side of history. So uh, to be able to bounce back from that is the ultimate, as I've been saying, redemption story. And it uh, was a very redeeming feeling. So, uh, you know, winning the national championship, obviously, was the greatest feeling I've ever had in basketball. But uh, UMBC helps us get there. And, and Kyle, uh, to have your name called, to, to be a part of the Sacramento Kings, this has been a long You've worked your tail off. I mean, long process. Um, what'd you learn about yourself in summer league to tell yourself, you know what? I belong here. Yeah. I think, uh, a lot of people have been like referencing, uh, Fred Van Vliet in the terms of like bet on yourself. Uh, I did the little, you know, advisory committee, try to get some feedback and they said 33% undrafted. So, uh, you know, I had to dig down deep again and, and bet on myself and, uh, I knew that I belonged in the league. Um, it was just a matter of how I got there. So, um, you know, just very thankful and blessed to be in this position. Summer league was great. Um, you know, the coaches have a lot of confidence in me, and uh, I learned a lot and played with some great teammates, and it was a good experience. And before I let you go, Kyle, what's the one thing you're going to take with you into the NBA that Tony Bennett taught you? Um, I – when, Le- when Joe Harris was on the Cleveland Cavaliers, uh, LeBron said that he was light years ahead of everyone else in terms of defense. <clears throat> and obviously it's a defensive school, so I'm definitely going to take that with me. Uh, just the fundamentals he teaches, just taking care of the ball, uh, shooting the same way every time. So uh, I think it's the little things and then just how genuine of a person he was. I'll always you know, uh, be indebted to him forever. Well, Kyle, it's been a wonderful year. I hope good things continue to happen to, for you and Alexa. Congratulations on your marriage and with the Kings. And uh, Yahoo fans, Wahoo fans, excuse me, uh, got to get out there. Got to vote. Keep Virginia in this bracket.